Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com. Today we're talking the Pop Tarts Bowl, Kansas State against NC State. But first, I want to share a coupon code with everyone the coupon Holiday 7 uh, for seven days of all access for just $69. It works on any handicapper on the site uh, and it's great value, especially during this time of year with all the other sports going on. I know for me, College basketball comes back from a little bit of a hiatus this weekend. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of action up across college basketball, college football, and the NFL. Uh, so go use that coupon code HOLIDAY7 to get seven days of all access for just $69. As far as the pop type bowl is concerned, um, it's one I've talked about a couple times this week. This will be the, the day of take here. And I finally just got to the window and bet Kansas State this morning. Um, it is, uh, you know, minus two and a half, minus three, believe I gave out minus three to clients just so everyone, you know, had the playable number. And, um, you know, I think the line move is pretty straightforward here. Uh, this line crashed from where it opened, uh, based on news that Will Howard was going to transfer. And then of course opt outs. But I think the move here or the reason for the move, uh, is probably the Will Howard info. And, and if this number is moving just on Howard, um, not being the quarterback, I think that's a little bit of an overreaction. Um, you know, NC State's going to have opt-outs of their own. Uh, they're going to be without their best defensive player, Peyton Wilson, uh, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But I guess my my o the overwhelming point I, I want to make here and will ultimately sort of push me over the edge with, with Kansas State at basically anything three or better uh, is the fact that, you know, I just don't think that there's a huge difference between John, you know, Avery Johnson, the 18 year old that's going to, uh, you know, make the start, the true freshman, uh, and Howard. If you go back earlier this season, you know, Howard was benched in favor of Johnson. And, you know, I, I get my K State info from, from my good friend, Kelly Stewart, who's as tuned in as anyone. And, and you know, it, it sounds to me like he kind of, you know, Howard kind of got the job back just out of straight up, you know, loyalty to him. All the time he put in at the program, I think, you know, Johnson kind of got his chance, played well. Then, you know, it was, it was, uh, you know, the decision was made to put Howard back in there. Um, but, you know, Howard's moving on because he knows this isn't going to be his job next year. And, you know, Johnson's the quarterback of the future and he's going to get his chance here. And, and something that I really wish I put more stock into earlier in the bowl season is a, a mobile quarterback in these bowl games. I talk about it all the time during NFL preseason, um, which which these bowl games have become, by the way. Um, this is the, the closest thing I can think of to what bowl season has now become is the NFL preseason where you're just trying to bet off of, of who's going to play, who's not going to play. The gameplay isn't going to be very good. There's going to be people in there that, that won't be in there, you know, haven't been in there all regular season. And, and I think mobile quarterbacks – you know, are going to give you a better chance to win in these games. Quite simple, right? Like offensive play breaks down. It's not there. A guy that, that can really move around uh, can make plays and, and make things difficult for, for defenses that are going to be missing guys. And so I actually think in this matchup, Avery Johnson might be an upgrade for Kansas State because he does offer that sort of dynamic running ability that Howard really doesn't. So if this were a regular season game, of course, Peyton Wilson would be lined up for NC State. Will Howard would probably be under center for Kansas State. And you would have Kansas's rushing attack, top 15 rushing attack nationally, against NC State's really good rush defense. But now you're going to have Avery Johnson, who's a little bit of a wild card, definitely going to try to run the ball. He, he's he's fast as, you know, he'll be as fast as anyone, you know, on the field. He's going to try to move it with his legs. And – and NC State defense that, while still, you know, very capable, is without their best player, you know, kind of the heart and soul of that defense, the one in the middle of that defense. So, you know, one thing NC State did do throughout the season is give up big plays. Uh, and, and I think Johnson just in this type of game where there's going to be a lot of, of – there's going to be guys on both sides, you know, that are that are maybe, you know, getting a chance, maybe weren't in there during the regular season. I like Johnson – to potentially give Kansas state that dynamic that they wouldn't have with Howard under center, where he's going to be more of a traditional passer. Kansas state would be more of a traditional rushing team in that regard. Um, Johnson, you know, he he's young and he might make a mistake or two. Uh, but one thing we learned watching him in, in limited, um, you know, exposure this season is he will sling it. He's not afraid 
to take a shot, make a play, take off and run. And I kind of think that plays in this bowl game. Um, so now you look at the number, you're getting a much better number now than you were weeks ago. I, I think, you know, had you missed anything but three and a half, I think you missed your chance to bet NC State. So at two and a half or three, the line value certainly with Kansas State. And I like Johnson here, you know, in, in a game where I think both teams, is it's relatively sort of known what they're coming in with. Uh, the guys that have opted out, have have it, that's been known as well. I think Johnson gives Kansas State sort of the wild card that's going to be needed to win this bowl game. Um, NC State, in my opinion, kind of got, you know, Dave Dorian kind of got the max out of this team this year uh, based on the talent that, that he had. Uh, I think Kansas State's the better team, and I don't think Howard being out is a, a huge deal in, in, in this one-off game where Kansas State's had a long time to prepare. So I laid the points. Like I said, anything under three, I would play this all the way up to minus three. Uh, it is a 4% play for me. And so Kansas State, minus three, 4% best bet. Don't forget that coupon, Holiday 7, seven days of all access from your favorite wager, wager talk handicapper for just $69. And follow me on Twitter, at Top Flight SI, where I post free plays pretty much daily, you know, weekly, um, all the time.